Marvin Leviathan here at Wicked Weekend, Dayton, Ohio. And standing with me now is Mr. Extra, Extra Overdose. Was really good. Was really good. All right. Extra, thank you for being with Darkest Goth Magazine, man. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, uh, until you actually sent me a, a follow on Twitter, yeah. I hadn't actually heard of you. <laughs> so, you know, for those are of us, uh, for those of our viewers who haven't actually heard of you, maybe you can give us a little bit of a, a background check. No doubt, no doubt. First and foremost, shouts out to Twitter because without Twitter, this wouldn't have, this wouldn't have happened. But as far as a background story, I'm extra overdose. I'm from the Bronx, New York. I've traveled many places, and one of those places is Michigan, and now Ohio. You dig what I'm saying? But um, anyway, you know what I'm saying, I, I just, you know what I mean, I've been doing music for some time now, ever since you know, 2011, 2012, and I've just been, you know what I mean, just, just doing me, you know what I mean, just doing extra overdose XO, you know what I mean, just applying the music, and the people have grown accustomed to it, and connected with it, on a level to where I can do shows like tonight, Twisted, Wicked, 10th anniversary, you know what I'm saying, so, you know what I mean, as far as like a, you know, a background, that's, that's pretty much. Yeah, okay. I, you know, I've been doing music for some time now, you know what I mean? It may not be as much, like like those guys, you know what I'm saying, like Twisted and them, they've been doing this shit for like 20 plus, 25 plus years. I've been mm. going on 30, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? It's a pleasure. It's been a hell of a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? We here now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's a privilege, you know what I'm saying? It's a privilege, it's an honor to be on this motherfucking interview right now with my boys, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. Right. And, uh, well, like, who would you say, like, are some of your biggest influences in the music industry? In the music industry? Well, I have a whole bunch of different individuals because I listen to a whole different range of music. But um, I, as far as hip hop, I could say like Tupac, Eminem, Big Pun, DMX. Um, I, I love Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, uh, Creed. Um, uh, just, you know what I mean? Just the legends, man. You know what I mean? Uh, what, was the, what was the group that did. Uh, and nothing else matters. Metallica. Metallica. <laughs> I always forget that shit too. Like it's, it's yeah. always a, it's always a crazy thing. And don't 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 get me wrong, y'all. I love Metallica. It's just I always forget it because I always listen to like so much different music that it gets to a point where it's just like you know like a blow. But yeah, yeah, I listen to so much different music. I get so many different inspirations from so many different angles. I mean, as far as music, yeah, those are some of like the biggest things. Uh, of course, Al Green, Michael Jackson, Prince. And, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some of the greats and everything like that. But you no, know, I take it. I take inspiration from so many different, several different angles. You know what I mean? So yeah, and uh, it just depends on the day and time and the emotion. Mm -hmm. On your album, Viral Injection, you know, just came out not too long ago. How would you describe that mu uh, your music and that album to someone who's never heard it? Exactly what the title says: Viral Injection. Now, you know what I'm saying, like a lot of people may take their perspective from it, but viral injection is when when you think of something viral, viral, social media, YouTube, something that's going viral, and an injection, when you inject into the music, it takes you to a place that is like no other. Because there's no one there's no one other that can take you to a place where I can take that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like because it's me, it's XOD. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the album speaks for itself. Every song on the album is a banger. I have not got no complaints from <clears throat> pardon, from anybody, you know what I'm saying, that has listened to the album thus far. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean the album speaks for speaks for itself. Viral injection, man. We're just trying to get the shit to spread as much as possible. That's why I, I hashtag it all the time. Let it spread, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? It's not about drugs, because a lot of people think, oh son, this you know, the injection, the syringe and all of that. It's about you know drugs. It's not about drugs, it's about Take in what you do and you overdose on that shit. If you're an actor, overdose on that shit. Be the best actor you could be. If you're a rapper, be the best rapper you could be. If you're a doctor, be the best doctor you could be. A lawyer, be the best lawyer you could be. Overdose on that motherfucker. Inject into what it is that you want to do and what it is that you're striving for and the goals that you got. And you take that shit to the limit and you overdose on that shit just like a motherfucker overdoses on drugs. We just taking a negative and we turn that shit into a positive. You dig? Hell yeah. I like that, man. And, uh, like, is there anybody that would be, like, a dream collaboration for you? Alive DMX. or dead, man. DMX. First and foremost. Mm -hmm. Marilyn Manson. I'd like to hear that. Um, That'd be interesting. Yeah, Marilyn Manson. I, 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 I fuck with Marilyn Manson hard. Like, I, I fuck with Marilyn Manson for 
the longest. You know, ever since I was a little poppy seed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I fuck with Man Ray. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, his music and everything like that. Not just the music, but just the... The, uh... What is the uh, the word I'm looking for? Spirit of it? Just the... You know, how the you come across on something. Like, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is, what subject, what topic. It could be anything. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. and, and how he does it is genius. It's just genius. So if Marilyn Manson is watching this, fuck with your boy. Put me on a tour. Your boy, Extra Overdose. Holla at me. www.soundsofexo.com. I'll let you boy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. And here's a little random question for you. Uh, if you were a shapeshifter, what would you become and why? That's a good question. There's so many multiple things that I wish I, I would become. And when you say that, I think of animals. Yeah. The animals? The books? Yeah. Animorphs. So you flip through them pages and it morphs into the fucking animal that morphs. And I always thought of that, like, you know what I'm saying, growing up. But, um, damn, that's a good question, dog. Like, where I, damn, dog, that's a good question, dog. I'm gonna go with some dope shit. I would, I would shape shift into Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? For an hour. Just for an hour. Give me 60 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And I'll, you know what I'm saying? On some X-Men shit. Remember in X-Men when they, yeah. when they, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do some wild shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Donald Trump. I'll shape shift into Donald Trump. No one knows underground wicked music like I know underground music. No one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I guess, man, my last question for you is, you know, in your time in the underground and all that stuff, yeah. what what has been your greatest challenge? My greatest challenge? The thing I can say for the biggest challenge for me would be, damn, you digging deep. <laughs> He's digging deep, yo. You hear it? Man, if y'all out there, y'all artists, man, you need to get a fucking interview. But what I would say is the deepest thing is, I guess, becoming a, the challenge, because, you know, as far as, like, challenges, challenges are very good. Because sh iron shopping is iron. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, becoming a, a better artist, becoming a better individual. Yeah. It's a challenge, you know what I'm saying? Because you deal with different shit throughout the day, you know what I'm saying? Different habits we go through, you know what I'm saying? Different things that we have to, that we are accustomed to, that we have to break. You know what I'm saying? Those habits that we have to break. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, as far as, like, the question you asked, repeat it again. Real, one more time. For What's your greatest challenge? Greatest challenge. Becoming a better artist. Becoming a better individual. You know what I'm saying? A better performer. A better motherfucking interviewer. You know what I'm saying? That, those are challenges. Those are my challenges. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Because that sharpens me up. Mm -hmm. Just like this interview right here. And I appreciate this interview, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. Well, man, thank you for your time. We're going to wrap it up now. And no everybody doubt. out there, be sure to check out yeah. Extra Overdose, XOD, no Viral doubt. Injection. No doubt. One more thing. Follow me on all platforms, y'all. Instagram, Sounds of XO, Twitter, Kids Don't Do Drugs, eliminate the S's and put Z's, so that's Kids Don't Do Drugs, all those S's put Z's, on my motherfucking YouTube, Sounds of XO, on my Facebook profile music page, Sounds of Extra Overdose, my website, my web store, whatever y'all want to call it, www.soundsofxo.com, fuck with your boy, Viral Injection is available everywhere, Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, all of that good shit. Anything that you all that platform shit y'all got going on is available up there. The the physical uh, copies are available on the website, www.soundsofxo.com. All right. Yeah. Me and this motherfucker. I appreciate the interview, y'all. Yep. Let it spread. Don't you stop.